from the P.J. Fitzpatrick Home Improvement News Desk, New Jersey's most listened to station. New Jersey 101.5 News starts now. It's 5 o'clock. I'm Jill Croce. Topping our report this hour, a Sunday fire in Bayonne killed a six-year-old girl and displaced several people, according to officials. The Hudson County prosecutor says firefighters responding to the fire in the two-story building on Avenue C around 1140 p.m. found an unresponsive girl on the second floor. The girl, identified as Sanaya Felton, was taken to Bayonne Medical Center, where she was pronounced dead around 1 a.m. The fire is not considered considered suspicious at this time. The IRS says some New Jersey taxpayers are receiving a notice of non-payment even though they paid their 2023 federal income tax. Chief Tax Information Officer for Jackson Hewitt Mark Stever says it happens. The IRS can be wrong. There can be a partial mistake. Maybe the tax is owed but perhaps not the penalties or the interest. If you think the notice is incorrect, Steber advises not sing- sending a check right away and instead contact the IRX, IRS or a tax pro about the issue. He also warns to be on the lookout for scammers. Gen Z is in debt. That's according to a new analysis from online marketplace LendingTree. Among those living in the 100 largest metropolitan areas, the median percentage of Gen Zers with debt is just over 97 percent. The median non-mortgage debt of those Gen Zers is over 16 grand. The analysis showed that they were most likely to have credit card debt than any other type, with nearly 81 percent owing money on a card. I'm Brian Shook. Now the Rue Insurance Business Report. The U.S. Justice Department is pushing Boeing to plead guilty to criminal fraud in connection with two deadly plane crashes involving its 737 MAX jetliners. According to several people who heard federal prosecutors detail a proposed offer Sunday, Boeing will have until the end of the week to accept or reject that offer. Over on Wall Street, the Dow closed up about 50 points today. In business, anything can happen. Be ready with Rue Insurance. For benefits, business, and personal insurance, visit RueInsurance.com. NJ1015.com is your source for breaking news. Download our free app to get breaking news alerts sent to your phone. Our blue skies back for tomorrow. The complete New Jersey 101.5 forecast is coming up. New Jersey fast traffic in one minute. New Jersey 101.5 instant weather after a beautiful day today. We'll have a mainly clear sky tonight. Low temperatures will be in the low 60s. It'll be in the 50s in the northwest hills. Now as we head through tomorrow, we'll have a good deal of sunshine. It will be warmer, but still the humidity is going to be pretty low. High temperature will be in the low to mid 80s tomorrow. And clear to partly cloudy as we head through tomorrow night. The lows will be within a few degrees of 60 and partly sunny on Wednesday. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. It'll be in the upper 70s at the shore. Independence Day on Thursday will We'll have clouds and sunshine. There will be a thunderstorm in spots during the afternoon, especially across central and north Jersey. At this point, though, it looks like a lot of the day on the 4th will be dry. Highs 85 to 90, low 80s at the shore. From the Edison Heating and Cooling Weather Desk, I'm meteorologist Brian Thompson. Right now in Hackensack, it's 80 degrees. New Brunswick, 81. Evesham, 80. Fast traffic and instant weather every 15 minutes on New Jersey 101.5. New Jersey weather made possible by... Drywall Doctor, if you have a hole or water damage in your wall or ceiling, stress cracks or sagging tape seams, you need the Drywall Doctor. No job is too small for their skilled repair crew. And they offer a fast turnaround and and craftsmanship guarantee. Log on for a free estimate at drywalldrnj.com. Not New York, not Philadelphia. We're proud to be Jersey's own New Jersey. 101.5. Join the conversation.